A keepsake. A thing for you to keep for the sake of remembering stuff. Like people, places, posting videos. You know these things. And I was wondering where to keep such a keepsake. Well, in order to put a keepsake somewhere, you actually need to have one in the first place. So I decided to create one. Speaking of creating, let's get into Photoshop, shall we? So I started with a rose. Who would have thought? On a juicy dark red background. I wanted the rose to be inside of a shadowing glass bowl, so I tried to make one. I painted a big hard blob and decreased the fill to 0%. Then I went into the layer styles where the magic began. I added some outer glow, some inner glow, I mean inner shadow cause you know, I like to be on the dark side of things. And I also tried something with bevel and emboss like I did years ago. And all that makes it look like a crazy realistic glass ball, right? Yeah, never mind, we'll get back to that later. Then I put in two different sized soft blobs in a pinkish color behind the ball for some background lighting. We're moving on by decorating the scene with some rose petals. I just took a stock image, this stock image, and spread some petals out the way I liked it. Back to the rose. I couldn't decide on what to do with it. I tried to make it dark or black or bright and glowy, um, so I decided to turn it red for now. Working on the background, I used a texture I thought I would never use. This water ripple kind of thing. I blurred it put it in color dodge and decrease the brightness a bit and to my surprise it seemed to work out so i stuck to that and as i mentioned earlier i wanted the glass ball to shatter or explode sort of like here so i took a temporary crack texture and desaturated it i then put it in multiply blend mode to get rid of the bright areas then i took a curves adjustment and increased the bright values on the crack image so that thanks to the multiply blend mode even more bright areas disappear and lastly i decreased the opacity i also tried to make it look more round as it's wrapped around a ball and you could make it look more realistic with the liquify tool but you know i'm a simple man i'll just press ctrl t and warp the ball out of it. Then if you duplicate it or take another texture and do the same, lower the opacity even more, you can sort of make it look like there are some cracks in the back side of the ball, which would make sense as it's a glass ball. Then I had an idea. I found the edit to be rather empty, so I wanted to try what it looks like to have thorns or what are they called in English? Stems. Yeah, those to go around the rows. So I looked for an image, found this one and cut it out. Totally not wasting precious lifetime. Am I done yet? Please? Then I placed them where I like them to be. I turned them brown, even though they should be green or whatever. And I also put in some inner shadow for some lighting. Then I blurred the stems, made the petals more pink and blurred them as well. Now we're getting crazy on the rose. I took the unedited rose layer, duplicated it and put it on top of the edited one. Then I put it in luminosity blend mode so that the colorized rose actually gets its texture back. Wait a minute. Wouldn't it be more convenient to just Put the red layer, that layer that actually colorizes the rose in, in color blend mode, other than doing that. Hmm. Well, probably, but. But I'll just tell them that, yeah, that I like challenges and uh, I like to do things more complicated in order to improve. Yes, that's it. Well, yeah, I actually made it unnecessarily weird, but yeah. Back to the edit, I also did that for whatever reason. With two exposure adjustments, I painted some highlights on the rose. I then decided that the rose being completely red is not that great, so I took a hue and saturation adjustment, colorized in green with like 50% opacity, and painted the mask on the stem, which pretty much only makes it darker, but whatever. I put an outer glow on the colored rose and an inner glow on the luminosity rose. And now we get to the critical part, the ball. I was actually kind of motivated and thought, I would like to learn Blender for like the fourth or fifth time. So I booted up Blender, started looking up some tutorials and went all out. You know, doing this, doing that, being more enthusiastic than ever about being able to actually make something in 3D. Yeah, I quit after like three hours. So I remembered that I can actually look for a 3D glass ball object and I found it. Well, I threw away the idea of an exploding ball and replaced it with a scratch one. I mean, it also kind of makes sense, you know, Thorns going all around the ball, scratching it. Nice. After placing the ball, I increased the contrast and colorized it. I then took some glass textures and wrapped them into place. Now the rose doesn't look like it's inside the ball yet, so I tried a few things and ended up with painting some pink color on top of the rose. Put it in screen blend mode and I liked it. Lastly, I took some particles, colored them with a the gradient map and blurred them. And finally, the camera raw filter gives the edit its final look. So this is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And in case you did, feel free to leave a like and also subscribe to this channel so you won't miss any future videos. And uh, well, I don't really have anything else to say, so 
The only thing I can say is thanks for watching and until next time.